Let's learn to read deleting sounds. Deleting sounds. When we delete sounds, we take a sound away from a word and recognize the word that still remains. Let's practice. We are going to practice deleting a sound and then seeing what word is left. First, we'll do three examples together. Example number one. Say the word sat. What's the new word if we take off the s sound? The word is at. Example number two. Say the word flip. What's the new word if we take off the f sound? The word is lip. Example number three. Say the word mud. What's the new word if we take off the d sound? The word is m. Now you try. You are going to practice deleting a sound and then seeing what word is left. It may be a nonsense word. Practice number one. Say the word pan. What's the new word if we take off the p sound? The word is an. Practice number two. Say the word rug. What's the new word if we take off the r sound? The word is ug. Practice number three. Say the word sit. What's the new word if we take off the t sound? The word is si. Deleting sounds. Remember, when we delete sounds, we take a sound away from a word and recognize the word that still remains.